We buy pins every time we get new species, so we're gonna get a redfish and a snook pin. And a tarpon. Oh, and a tarpon pin for Alyssa. Yeah. I get a tarpon pin. Guys, check out our video. We caught that already. We need these. Liz, these nets are really nice. This nets carbon fiber and fiberglass mix. It's lightweight. This is indestructible. I mean, they don't break. You forget you're wearing them. Yeah. The, they are light. They're so light. Super light. And the net bag is great for releasing fish. You know, a nylon net. Yeah, like this is a cool material. I've never come across something like that. That's so cool. So I just like, want I it. I even want to fish these. Like, look at that. Yeah. So what's your YouTube channel? It's called Chick Surf and Lips. Yes. Nice. Yeah. I like it. And we're going to go back next weekend probably and catch some peacocks. Yeah. That's we want to awesome. get a, we yeah. wanna get a peacock so on the fly. Many, and it's awesome to see there are so many women getting involved right now. It, not only social media, but just in fly fishing in general. 33% of the fly fishing community is actually women, which is more than the regular fishing community. So that's a really interesting fact. We are not feminists. We are not feminists, <laughs> but... We are not feminists. We just like fishing. But yeah, we thought that was an interesting fact that we should share with you guys. She's going to teach me one day. It's awesome. It, I mean, we all start out, you know, with worms and bluegills and bass and spinners. Yeah. And, Trout don't live in ugly places, and neither do tarpon or no. bonefish. Or, I Nowhere mean, it's always that. beautiful places, yeah. right? So, Liz, you should buy one. These even this $18? for dollar this for one. dollar. Now, this is what everybody started with, you know? Yeah. Look, you can already see the, the handle coming off. I mean, yeah. It, it, for 18 bucks, it's really not. This if is you're going to get something that's cheap, get that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the one I started with. It's a little bit different, right. but yeah, it was it. That part is too loose now. There's some other ones in here that are a little better. I mean, I've never heard any problems with, with the Dyna Kings. This one's you know, nice. HMH. This one's nice. See, I don't fly fish, but this stuff surely is attracting me. I think it's just it's like so cool. Crest. Here's rabbit. Wow. 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 See, like. Some people might think that you're just looking at a bunch of different crafts. Well, every single different material is used to swim a different way. So bunny hair versus hackle, which is like a bucktail, it swims all different. So that's the difference when you're buying all these materials. It's not just a craft store. <laughs> this is just like high quality stuff, yeah, I guess. So if you're tying flies in bulk, most people buy this. Since I saltwater fish, it doesn't really get very fancy. You don't need the fans. You can buy the fans, but you don't need it. Sebastian's got some <laughs> giant fish in there. The black tips come in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We we're fries. going this weekend again. Nice. We're gonna, yeah. But this time we're going to the Keys. Yeah. Okay, we're we're going to change peacocks. it up. We're not sure yet, but we're trying to get peacock bass. As we tried to go, and I guess it was too cold because we went to um, Delray Beach, right. and um, they were dead. There oh, was yeah, dead they got peacocks. So mm -hmm. Because they flowed up when it Oh my god, that's so sad. There's a peacock bass and it's dead. That's really sad. I wonder what happened. It's so sad. Maybe it died from the cold. They're yeah. belly up, but they don't always die. Sometimes they'll start swimming. Yeah, and well these up. ones, these ones were, we're dead. dead. Yeah. So we used to go catch them all the time. They're like this big. Oh my and god, they're yeah. beautiful. They're huge. Man. They're like really five cool. pounders. Yeah, yeah, maybe bigger. What do what flies do you use? We want to try for to fly those? fish. Yeah, for peacock. Because we are gonna okay. use the live shiners. 
go, go hit a couple of guys. Okay. Go, go, okay. Go, that's what you're going to go. You're like, that's nice. Right? Very nice. I'm gonna it up. Nice. So you got your big red fish. Yes. Yeah. And you guys didn't get a big snow? We did get a big snow. Oh, I know, in the boat. Yes. But you want to get one off yeah. the beach? Yeah. There you go, no. splash it. Mm. So have you done the peacocks before? Have you done that before? We have not. No. Okay, they were eating a little mullet, like two, three inches long. Yeah. So anything that looks gray and white, anything like that, worked really well for us. We were doing super simple little flies. Guys, these little, these little things that are like maybe two inches, two and a half inches mm -hmm. long, out of pseudo marabou. A very simple little bait fish with like an epoxy head, and uh, that's what really, I mean, that those did the trick. Nothing overly complex. And I'm using like a five weight, or I have That's a seven a eight. Right. I have a seven eight. I would bring a seven eight. The problem with peacocks, so you're fishing these, the, the canals in Boca are, are smaller canals, and there's a lot of structure, and the peacocks are hiding around, uh, hiding out under the docks, mm -hmm. and they, they, they're right next to the pilings, a very territorial fish. So you'll see them, they'll be swimming around these pilings, and you're casting to them. Now what peacocks do, you cast your fly out, they'll come up to it and they actually blow at it and they push the fly out of their way. And you strip it back to them real quick and they'll do it again. They'll do it two or three times. That's interesting. And then you bring it to them again and they'll clobber it. But what they do is they shoot straight for the pilings and under the docks. So if you don't have a seven or eight, enough backbone, you're gonna break them off every time because they're just gonna bury themselves back in there. Um, so there's the clown wait. knife. Oh, yeah. Wow. And then these guys, these little Mayan cichlids. They swim backwards with the clown knife, right? The clown knife, yeah. yeah. When you hook them, you go to you go to grab them, and they backwards. They're crazy. Now, I feel like you could lose them like that on a Don't fly. lip them because they've got retractable fangs that come up out of the tip of their tongue. Mm -hmm. I've so seen if you lip them, they're about a quarter of an inch long. There's just two little like small spikes, but they will go right through your thumb. These guys are Mayan cichlids. Those are all over the canal. So you're going to see these. And you're gonna see giant tilapia. Uh, chicks ripping lips. No, we don't have chicks a card. Ripping That's lips. our yeah. ripping yeah. lips. Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Is it chicks yeah. ripping lips. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I um, I never fly fish before. She wanted to show me how to do it. And or I want to do it right Or now. or if like someone better can teach her how to yeah, pass. Yeah. Teach me. Gotcha. Yeah, I know how to do it, but I figured you guys look like you know what you're doing way more. I'm not a very good. I'm not a very good teacher, yeah. so. holding a book on your elbow. When you do this, see how the loop, the line is like one big U? Mm -hmm. So I can't cast very far when it's like that. But when I, I when I do it in two motions, see how now the loop is tight? Yes. And I can cast further. And then as I get more line out, I just wait longer on the back. Pause, you know, 1,001, then forward. 1,001, then forward. Another thing, I didn't teach you this. Great. So generally you pick your fingers and lay them on top, mm -hmm. on the bottom, and your thumb goes right on top. Okay. There, some people hold it to the side and some people put their index finger up here. It's really whatever's it's comfortable whatever for you. It's whatever feels best, But yeah. the nice thing about thumb there is it keeps your wrist from going too far back. Because mm -hmm. remember, you want to stop and go forward and stop and go backward and stop. Go forward and stop. So it's two pieces. Then when you get ready to fish, you go forward like this and then you just drop the rod. That's what presents the fly. You go up and then you come down. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Oh, yeah. No, they're so yeah. easy. Yeah, they don't have to, you know. What we do is because we're crazy, you know. It's not, yeah. it's not that you need to tie these. Well, yeah. I understand. The thing like that I think about tying flies is like yeah. when you're fishing freshwater, the fish, like the water is more clear. I fish salt water, so uh -huh. the fish aren't very picky. Like you can just throw a simple flouser out and they'll just attack it. Yeah, but, they're like, you know, there's freshwater, a, I think no, a that's what we eat. Oh, 
look at this. bananas on a boat that they're bad luck and stuff and some people literally like will refuse to have bananas on a boat like refuse and this sticker says it's not the banana you just suck hey ricky siegler makes a fly reel Ricky, representing Tackle Direct. You don't even know my Instagram name? Pretty Ricky 14. 14. Yeah, you knew it. Why'd it's you say It's Pretty Ricky 14. Check them out, guys. Um, have you checked out our YouTube videos? I have not. You haven't watched a single of one? Of course oh. I have. Oh, yeah. Well, we watched the snuff one. Come on. Cortland. This is a great line. Check them out. Yeah. Check them out. They... I didn't even know they had fly line, but we do use their braid, and we love their braid. Um... Actually, one of the owners of Cortland, I'm not sure where he's ranked, but we're friends with him. Is he here? I don't know. Oh, Hello. hi. What's up? Hi. How are you? Alyssa. Brooks, nice to meet I'm you. I'm Rebecca. How are you guys? Nice to meet you. They said thanks for coming <laughs> by. Yeah, no problem. We'll give you the rundown, Filming obviously. The love YouTube Cortland. Channel. We specialize in saltwater fly lines, freshwater fly lines. We specialize in floating, sinking lines. Okay. Also, we make lines for cold conditions, like freshwater conditions, and hot conditions in Florida, Bahamas, Belize. Uh, we make lines specific to northeast saltwater fishing, like our compact series, the compact intermediate, the compact Seek Type 9. Those are probably our most popular saltwater lines for the northeast. Okay. Um, we do a wide range of leaders, timbit, backing, you know, that. and then also the braid as well. Okay. You guys use, so. Oh, so you guys even have the backing braid? Yep, we do braid, we do, so we have uh, our gel spun fly line backing, and then our Dacron, our Micron backing, and then we do a wide range of leader material like the monofilament, saltwater fluorocarbon, and then the hydrogen. Doug from Fincognito. Mm -hmm. We make performance wearable fish art. So we take artist renderings and put them in all of our print garments. Cool. This is AD Maddox. And it's also performance gear, so it's UV protective, UPF 50. Okay. 16% um, spandex, it's wicking moisture management stuff. Okay. Blocks out the sun's rays. Okay. 